Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny. In the last part, we made it here to Frost Time, and then we met the ruler of this nation, and that he has the stupidest name ever, of King Zark. So, yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, I went ahead and picked up a whole bunch of equipment for everybody, but now that we're here, and that we need to know... Wait. We need to... Wait. We're here, and we need... You know what? We're gonna equip these stupid fur capes. Okay? There. Whatever. Um, <laughs> um, last time we learned that we need to equip these. There we go. Thank you. And now Root, um, Mary is going to have two capes on. Haha, ha, it's very funny because it's physically impossible. Unless you just have, like, a cape in front and behind you, which would look totally stupid. But anyway, uh, now that we're here on the world map, um, we pretty much just need to go to the forest and make it to the nest. Aha, here we go. Hey, look who it is! Soldier! Hey, wait! Ah, oh, is this the end? Hey, look who it is! Oh, this can't be... No way, Gar! Dude, stop the soldiers! Ack, they're sauce! Fine, leave no eyewitnesses! <laughs> Dude, you just picked the fight with, like, the wrong party. Man, I've been grinding. That's a bad idea. And Dragon Swarm! Oh, it didn't kill either of them. I was expecting a double kill. Oh no, Storm, whatever will I do? What the? What are you doing over there? That's something that's kind of funny about... Oh man, <laughs> you're dead. You are so dead. And suck Demon's Lance. Uh, you... <laughs> You'll suck that Demon's Lance. Okay, whatever, anyway. I'm surprised he didn't do it on, like... Um, I'm surprised he didn't use it on the little sorceress, because then that joke would work perfectly. But anyway, you're dead. R retreat! You're freaking dead! You can't get away. Ha! Huh, they're always quick on their feet when they run away. Gar, are you alright? Do you know him? He saved my life. He's unconscious. You know, you could try using healing magic or a life bottle. Let's take him to town. Alright. A nice place. He regained consciousness. Well, that's convenient. Where am I? Gar, are you alright? You're... I'm Stan. You helped me back on the snow mountain. Really? I mean, remember? Oh, I remember now. Yeah, do you remember now? He just said he remembered now! What are you doing, Stan? Uh, <laughs> come on, try listening. That tends to help when talking to people. Okay, so what happened to you? Heidelberg was attacked, and I barely escaped capture. What about Leiden? Is the Eye of Adamoni in Fendaria? The Eye of Adamoni? Is that what they call that thing? It's probably at the castle now, but the castle's been turned into an enemy stronghold. Are you from a royal family? Are you, and you are also a Sordian user? Th this man is a king? Yes, I am of royal blood. I know you didn't like me at the cabin. But I hope we can somehow get along, Dimlos. Why... Why, yes. That's why you knew my name. I could hear Dimlos' voice. I didn't mean to trick you. Wasn't Igtenos kept in Fendaria? Unfortunately, Igtenos fell into enemy hands. That's a problem. They have a Sordian now. Let's go to Heidelberg. At least we know where we can find the Eye of Adamoni. Yeah, this might be our chance. Yeah, really. Good grief. You two are hopelessly optimistic. <laughs> well, okay. So, Leiden's in another country. Oh, well, he's over there. We can't do it. We're done. Mission over. <laughs> I mean, come on, Leon. I'll humor you and go with you. Screw you. Then allow me to join you as well. At least I'm more familiar with the geography of Pandaria than you. But you're not in any condition. Not to worry, I was just a little tired. <laughs> and that's why you were asking if you were gonna die. Because you're tired. Okay. Well, last thing I need is more dead weight. My hands are already full dealing with these fools. Trust me, I won't get in your way. I'm a lot more useful than you are, Leon. But anyway, <laughs> as you can see, Gar is the exact same level as he was when we left him in the very beginning of the game, so that's not good. Um, and man, he's got a big head. Um, <laughs> that's kind of random, but anyway, if you bought him that composite bow, he will, um, his, you know, attack power will shoot right up with the rest of you. So, it's not a bad idea to buy that composite bow early. So, um, okay, good. We're back here in Frost Time. Let me explain the two routes we can use to go to Heidelberg. 
The first route is to go west through the Tilso Forest and then through the town of Cyril. But Leighton's army blocks this route, so it'll be difficult to get through. Another route is to enter Heidelberg, Heidelberg from the mountains behind the city. To use this route, we need to walk along the frozen river from the cave north of this town. This route will take us to the backside of Heidelberg. This route is difficult, but there is a good chance we won't attract attention from Wyden's army. Are you sure of that? The frozen river to the north is so cold that you'll need the fur cape just to survive the bitter cold. Besides, only people in this country would think of walking on the frozen river, right? This makes... <laughs> this makes sense! Okay, let's go that way! <laughs> Ugh. Oh, Leon. Whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some stuff for, uh, Gar. Now, Gar is kind of interesting. He can use both, um, like, weapons, like hand weapons, and he can use bows. So, it's kind of cool that he can use, you know, kind of any kind of weapon that he wants, including Sordians. So, he's very uh, unique in that aspect. However, I, even when he has his own specific Sordian, it's actually a Sordian that's not really built for combat. So, when he has his Sordian, he's not that strong. So what I do is I typically just leave him with a bow. He's actually a lot more useful to me when he has a bow. So, yeah, if, if you're going to be wondering why I'm going to leave him with a bow, that's why. And hey, we're fighting what I look... We're fighting like little frozen bunnies and stuff that we were fighting like in the beginning of the game. That's kind of weird. But oh well, this is where we started. And see, we're getting like six experience. That's pretty funny. Oh well. Any oh, I should have bought holy bottles. Dang. Um, okay, so I think he said go to this cave here. I hope he did. Yeah, the fro... Um, <laughs> okay, so we apparently take damage just from stepping there. I thought I had a, f a fur co cape on... Whoa, Gar's dead. Oh, wait, I didn't put it on him. Crap. So, yeah, this is this new area, the Frozen River. Apparently, if you walk around without a, fro without a fur cape, you just take damage like, like no one's business, and you just drop dead like Gar did. Um, <laughs> I did not know that was going to happen. I forgot to equip it on him. Uh, Gar, get up. Get the stupid fur cape. There you go. Well, it's a... Oh, wait, do I have anybody with life? No one has any reviving spells. <sighs> Rudy, come on. Can't you learn anything like that? Um, that's why... There we go, nurse. There we go. Okay, now we're good. Now Gar is alive and he will stay alive, whether he likes it or not. A huge chunk of ice is in our way. Stan, use this ring. What's that? It's called the Sorcerer's Ring. Only freaking 20 parts into the game, we get the Sorcerer's Ring. And eh, whatever. And it fires a beam of light by using lens energy. Then, yes, it'll be easy to melt this ice with it, but be careful. If you run out of lens, you can't fire the beam. Okay, thanks. Let's give it a try. Now, the thing that's aggravating about the Sorcerer's Ring in this game is that it's not just a little thingy. It's not a key item. It's actually an equip, which is really, really weird. You actually have to equip it on someone and then you can use it. Right, okay, we can get through now. But also, as you can see, you see my lens down there? It says 9,998. Nine one, two, three. Now it goes down to five. It takes one lens to actually use the sorcerer's ring. So keep that in mind. You can only use this ring if you have lens. Of course, that's not that's not a problem. At this point, you're getting like 50 lens per freaking enemy encounter. So th there's no worries with actually running out of lens. So that's not what you really need to worry about. The only thing that you should worry about is just the fact that it needs to be equipped on someone. All right. And with this experience, Gar is going to be going up in levels really quickly. So he'll catch up with us pretty soon. There's no need to worry about that. It's just the whole keeping him alive in fights. Ooh. Oh, hey, everybody's favorite kind of puzzle. Sliding puzzles. You got disc. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Another rune bottle here. What kind? A 100 and 100. Not bad. Very good. I like that. Holy crap. I, sl I just shot across that ice. Okay, so as long as you have fur capes, this is a pretty easy area. There's not really a whole lot to worry about as long as I, like, if I remember correctly. Um, 
the Diamond Dusk, the Diamond Dusk, they can be a little bit annoying just because, you know, they're, the, they're floating enemies and th those are always kind of aggravating. When an enemy is like up in the air and you got to go out of your way to hit it. But they're not bad. I don't think I remember anything being too dangerous here. And here, let's see, I'm going to change Gar around a little bit. Um, okay. Tactical, let's see. Support. Shoot arrows to support leader's attack. That's what I want. Okay. I really prefer him to shoot lots of arrows and stuff. I want him to be, you know, the person that just interrupts enemies and stuff and, you know, throws out occasional damage. And I definitely want him to stay away from the monsters. We want him to stay away from the summoner. Oh, whatever. You know, it's actually, it's very convenient that a blizzard still harms enemies that actually live in this area. Although it apparently just healed the stone giant. Or the... S period giant. I don't know what kind of giant that is. I would assume that's a stone giant, but whatever. Who knows? Maybe it's a stoned giant. Nah. Okay, sorry. Anyway, um, I don't really remember my way through this area, honestly. Um, ooh, hey, another sliding puzzle. Whoopee. Um, come up here. Let's see, can I hit the tree thing? Oh! Okay. Anyway, uh, up there you got the M sword. What is that? It is the uh, Mithril sword. Not bad. Looks like I didn't really need to pick up that Ransour thing, but okay. Um, no, no, no. Oh. Okay, let me see. I think that on the ice you don't have any encounters, and we got light. What's that? Is that a disc? Yes, it is. The image of light. Okay, um, let's see. What does that give? Let's go ahead and put it on Philia. Because it's probably better than Flame. There it is. Um, now, okay, now spells. Philia, what did you get? Oh, you got Ray. Okay, I already got that. But it is more powerful than the last one she had, so that's good. I guess I'll get, go ahead and give you the 100 100. Might as well just power Leon up. Why not? I mean, he is in the party and attacking and crap. Okay. Um, okay, can we please move a little bit faster? Oh, really? That one little speck of ice that we just happened to land on when we hit the tree. Ah, uh, whatever. There's not a whole lot of enemies here, apparently. But oh well, at least Dimlos just freaking destroys everything here. Gotta love being fire em elemental. There's actually a lot of things in this game that are weak to fire. So it actually makes Stan a little bit overpowered as long as you give him that Swordian. Then again, you can technically just swap Swordians around if you want to have a little bit of challenge. But whatever. Oh, yeah, we're here. Awesome. That is not bad. And we're already here in Heidelberg, or Heidelberg, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So, what have we got around here? Do we have any weapons or anything? Um, looks kind of deserted. This is a pretty cool place, though. I would like to see the bedroom, though. I'd have to know what the bedroom looks like to be wanna be like interested in it. The main room, that actually looks quite nice. I wouldn't mind renting. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, a cat. You know, with two fires in here... What? Get get out of the way, cat. Um, You'd think with having two fires in the same house, that would really, really overheat you. I mean, geez, man. How comfortable can you be with two fires in it? This is the same house. Oh, wait, no, it's not. The other one didn't have a bed, I don't think. Unless I just missed it. How big is this place? I'm just wandering around looking for rooms and houses that I want to rent. That I wouldn't really rent. Oh, hey, there's somebody. What? What are you doing here? This house belongs to me now. Don't enter without my permission. If you don't want to get jailed, get out of here now. If you, want, if you don't want to die, you shut up. Yeah, because I'll just freaking kill you. Oh, what's in this barrel? Is there a barrel here? Oh, there's no barrel there, man. I, I am disappoint. And here's the inn. The Traveler's Inn. Let's see. There's nobody here. Man. Is there nothing interesting here at all? I demand a weapon shop. Uh, there's the bar or whatever. Okay, what are we doing here? I, I think I need to go to the castle or something or this item shop. Oh, Oberon Corp. Oh. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Oh, well, whatever. I'm sure he'll be fine. Let's go to the castle. Let's take it on. This is the castle. Lydon is here. Yes, he is. What? Hey, what are you doing there? We're just 
taking a walk. You know, a, a walk. I don't care what you're doing. Don't come near the castle. It's dangerous around here. If you get into trouble, don't say I didn't warn you. Sure, I understand. We'll be careful. If you understand, go home now. He sounds familiar. Mary? What do you want? Have you seen this before? Master Dallas! Don't panic. Dallas? Are you Dallas? Yes. The, that sword. Why do you have that sword, woman? Who are you? Master Dallas, what's wrong? It's you, Gar Kelvin. Damn, split up, everyone. Intruders, intruders, Gar is here. Dallas, I found you. Mary? Rudy, what are you doing? We can't leave Mary behind. Beep, damn it. <laughs> Stan, Rudy. Felia, don't worry about us. Run, get out of here. But don't argue, hurry up. Don't let them go, surround them. Yes, sir. Oh, well, this sucks. Beep, no. Oh, whatever. Well, the others got away. Oh, oh yeah, it is. The other ones got away. Car and the others. I wonder if they're okay. I hope so. I don't want to stick around here for too long. Damn it, if only I had Dimlos, I could have easily broken these steel bars. Well, why don't you just fight the guards? They're level 39. Eh, whatever. What's wrong with them? Hey, you, how long are you going to keep us cooped up in this stinking place? Hurry up and let us go. I have no use for you. Be quiet. What? You locked us up and now you're saying you have no use for us? Dallas, did you come to let me out? You, woman, step out. I have questions for you. Sure. Oh boy. Don't, like, Mary! What happened to Mary? Yeah, she was acting so weird. Even weirder than usual. Weirder than usual? No, can't be. What? She must have remembered something. Because she told me before that her sword is the only clue she had. Th then... She probably got her memories back. That's great! But... We've got to somehow get out of this stupid place. You know, it's a jail. It's not that stupid or stinking. It doesn't look that dirty or anything. That reminds me. What? We were jailed before because of a certain someone. Well, what are you talking about? That wasn't... That wasn't my fault. Blame it on that little brat. Yeah, that's a good point. Hey! What the... Watch your mouth. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Leon? I thought I came here to rescue you. Now this. You fools. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, we were only jailed for like two seconds. We're fine. I was worried. I was worried about you too. Stan, here's your swordian. Yay, thanks. How did you find us? Have you forgotten what you have on your heads? Yeah, that explains it. Come on, let's hurry up and go after Mary. She was taken by a man called Dallas. That's right. What? I didn't see anyone leaving. Then... They went upstairs. Let's go. Oh, wow, this is pretty, pretty swanky music, I must say. All right, we got it. R orange. I don't, wait, what? What was that item that we just got? Oh, R orange. Oh, a rotten orange. An orange is a bit squishy. Ick. Why would I want that? Oh, uh, but you know, actually, I guess that does make sense. It's in a jail cell. But anyway. We have been captured. Mary has been taken somewhere by some mysterious man that she knows, but we don't. So, next time on Tales of Destiny, we will follow after them and figure out just what all this means and what's going on. So, see you guys then.